Hi everyone, I'm really excited for today's video because it is what I think is one of the most important videos that I'm going to make all year. And the exciting thing for me is today is January 1st. Today is the start of a new year, which is 365 days to create some massive change and live a life of purpose this year. And it doesn't matter if you're watching this video at the start of 2022, 2023, 2024, whenever, two decades later, I know what I'm talking about and the message I'm challenging you with here in this video is going to help create massive action in your life if you take and apply it. So let's talk about that in just one second. But I do want to say a quick thank you to all of you that have supported Greatness Every Day over the past year. Whether you are a watcher here on YouTube, you subscribe to our channel, you comment below, you hit the thumbs up button, all of those things are great and I really appreciate it. Whether you follow us on Instagram or you've jumped into some of our online programs, um, a massive thank you to each and every one of you. So that is my quick thank you. But for today's message, as I was thinking of how do we move from a, another year into a new year, I had a few ideas. And as I was kind of thinking about those and letting those ideas sort of percolate over the last few days, um, a message found me this morning and I definitely thought it was very telling of what I should encourage you with here today. What I do on Greatness Every Day is I challenge people, uh, I document my own journey, what I'm learning, etc. But I also challenge people and encourage people to do the exact same in their lives. Um, and this message today is a very simple but applicable one. And if you can do these things consistently, it's going to be extremely effective as well. And this morning, I was going through kind of my normal routine, just kind of going through the motions, having a good morning, relaxing a little bit as I'm able to take advantage of the break that I'm on. And right before um, I was gonna go ahead and read a really good book that I've wanted to read for a while that it's been recommended to me a few times and I finally bought it yesterday and started it last night. As I was gonna jump back into reading a little bit more about that book this morning, um, just before I did that, I grabbed my phone. And when I looked at my phone, I saw a friend post that there was an emergency update that popped up on his screen. He said it was important on his television, I should say. He said it was important and he was now tuning into that. So um, it was really interesting because this message that I'm sharing with you here today has been something over the past few years um, as I've really focused in and really challenged the personal development that I'm going through, um, I've been able to distance myself from. I've been able to develop some really solid habits, um, some really good decision-making skills, and also create some um, distance between um, what matters and what is helping me get towards my goals and what's not. Right, and, and that's a really important thing to do in life if you're looking at achieving something. And I've been able to go ahead and put myself in a really exciting place. And one, as I look into moving into a new year, um, I'm, I'm very happy about these things. But this morning was a moment that reinforced that every once in a while we need these reminders. And when I went through and saw that message, the initial reaction that I had was kind of uncharacteristically um, a message of FOMO or a feeling of FOMO or a feeling of fear. And as a result of seeing his message pop up on Facebook, um, I grabbed my phone and I called my parents because I don't have a TV. Um, that's one of the things that I, uh, the choices that I've made because I, I really believe um, a TV, whatever I need to get, I can watch on YouTube, etc. And a TV uh, isn't part of the lifestyle that I want to live. So I've made that decision. So I called my parents and I said, hey, do you see this super important emergency message popping up on your TV? And from that moment, it was really interesting because I was able to go ahead, make that phone call and start acting out in a place of fear. And then after I did that, I put the phone down, I went ahead and I grabbed my iPad and I was sitting on the corner of my bed um, and I literally had my iPad up ready to press play on the live stream um, and I found myself physically, before I could go ahead and do that, just say stop. And I started to question myself, why do you need to click the play button? Why would you go ahead and focus on consuming something where you can go ahead and grab your book and you can focus on creating something? Why would you go ahead and spend 30, 40, 50 minutes, an hour of your life watching a live stream where they're going to go ahead and, and give you some um, numbers and some more updates about this situation that we find ourselves in over the past year and a half, two years. Um, and it's really probably not gonna change your life at all. Or you can put your iPad down, 
you can grab your book and you can read and you can create and you can challenge what we talk about here, upgrading your mindset, your money, and so many other places that you want to change in your life. You've literally got that choice right now. So my message to all of you that are, that are watching this video right now is in these moments, our goals, our dreams, our tomorrows are shaped by the decisions and the choices that we make today. So in that moment where I could have gone ahead, it was just as easy for me to click the play button on my iPad and spend this time consuming um, and spend this time just living in a place of lack, or I could put my iPad down, grab my book, and spend that time reading and getting to a place of where I'm, uh, I'm challenging the way that I currently live, that I'm looking to better my life, but more importantly, that I'm living in a place of creation or a, cre uh, a place of abundance. That choice is literally the exact decision that we all have to make. That choice for me is just as easy for me to click play on my iPad as it is to grab a book and start reading. So as I found myself in this position, I was like, I don't need to have this big fancy message for 2022 or whatever year you're moving into right now. What I need to do is simply challenge people to think about their choices that they're making and how those are creating a better future for them, a better tomorrow, how they're creating the, the life of purpose that they want to create in their life. And if they're not, how can they really make sure that they, they move away from those things? How can they make sure that they're living in this place of abundance rather than this place of lack? And this is a decision that we all have the opportunity to make. Uh, we all have the opportunity to make hundreds of times every single day, whether it's uh, the simple act of tuning into a live stream, which isn't gonna affect us really any which way, and anything that is important that might affect our lives, we're going to be told it eventually somehow anyway. So I'm not gonna miss out in that scenario. Um, that could be one of those things, whether you're talking about watching a live stream or reading a book. It could be whether you're talking about the relationships that you have in your life and um, making those better, living your relationships in a place of abundance rather than a place of lack. It could be talking about money. It could be talking about whatever area in your life you want to upgrade. Um, there's so much potential there. So my challenge to you to think right now is how are the choices that you're making today impacting or creating a better tomorrow for you? And one of the things that I do is I have these messages all over the place. You can see one behind me here, whoa, right there. Um, just that simple message that every once in a while I see it, it's a visual cue. Um, I do have what I use for bookmarks here. Um, or I go ahead and uh, have a little business card. It just simply says, choose greatness every day. Um, and that's my motto. That's my kind of challenge to myself. And I hope that's a challenge that you have to yourself as well. Um, again, whether it's the simple act of the simple daily habits that we have each and every day um, that really shape the future that we're building, or it's something bigger, um, the, the career that you have, the decision you make to live a certain place or something else, I hope that you're taking that challenge seriously. And understand that it's just as easy to choose to operate in that a place of abundance as it in that place of lack. It's just as easy to choose to operate in that place of creation as it is that place of consumption. So that's my big challenge for you today. I hope this video helped. If it did, drop a thumbs up button down below. Go ahead and let me know any questions or comments that you have as well. And if you wanna find out when new videos come out here on my channel that challenge you to upgrade your mindset, your money, and more, please go down and click the subscribe button and tap the bell to be notified when it happens. Thanks for watching. Remember, choose greatness every day, and I'll see you next time.